We're at, uh, at a site uh, east of Moree on the Guada Highway where we started work on the mimosa in a, in a trial run about oh, three and a half years ago. So as you can see this here is uh, getting up around the six and a half, seven foot tall. Uh, it's quite a dense thicket of mimosa bush and but there is a, a really good regeneration of vegetation coming up through it. Now we've got we've opened the canopy up. So what we have here is uh, an area which was mulched for the power line management. Uh, over this side here we have treated with, uh, with pellets but not mulched. Where I'm standing it's been treated with pellets and mulched. We'll go down the other end and have a look at the area which was only mulched. You can see the difference. Probably about half a k west of where we were earlier and we're in an area of more desirable vegetation where we're not able to actually apply the, the pellets. The power line area was treated with just mulching and as you can see through the mulching area here where there was no pellets applied the uh, mimosa has come back a lot, has came back thick and uh, it's still fairly aggressive in its growth. So you can obviously see that there is a fair bit of benefit from using the pellets. One of the reasons why we're trying to do this project is we're trying to tackle tiger pear in this area. Uh, further to the north we've got a lot of harissia cactus. And the harissia cactus and the tiger pear tend to like to get in underneath and establish themselves in around the mimosa. So we, if we can get rid of the, the mimosa or at least open it up then we've got a, a fighting chance to be able to deal with the, uh, with the other weeds. The benefits of what we found of using the drone provided us with a timely manner of getting across it is re really reduced our labour content that we've required to do and it's become a lot quicker. So we're able to get over the ground much larger areas faster and also it has meant that it's been a lot gentler on machinery. We haven't had the breakdowns that we've had before. The actual use of the drone probably hasn't saved us a great deal on cost. However, it has saved us a considerable amount in manpower. We've got over 168,000 hectares that we've got to cover and we've only got six, six people to be able to deal with that there with our water points and our fencing and uh, other weed control. It just means that we get spread fairly thin on the, on the ground. 